There's a lot of good stuff. Well, folks, that was nice action right there. I have no idea, and let's just go live right here with you because there's a box spring right here. Let's see what else there is. Nice, some plants. Oh, wow, chair, stroller. Oh my goodness gracious, there's a lot of stuff. Let's go around and take a look. I don't think any divers have been out today. There's a lot of good stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the plunder, which we have a lot of it here, so let's walk it through. Okay, I just looked this over. This is the Samsung SyncMaster 211 MP. Unfortunately, that is not a computer and two-in-one. This is just a television. It does have a VGA cable in the back. Unfortunately, it is a older 21 inch, I believe. Regular television, and that is the remote control sensor, which there was no remote control. Uh, all the cables and everything are in the back as well. It's old school, probably still works. We'll test it out and we'll look it up to see if it's worth anything. If not, that will be on my curb before I go to church tomorrow. Coming over here to four moms. Yes, four moms. It does need to be cleaned up a little bit. Looks like a uh, child went a little crazy with some uh, marker, but a magic eraser or isopropyl alcohol will get that spit shine really nice. Now, this isn't the high, high-end model with that digital display right here, but my guess is it has a noise machine. Uh, looks like a headphone jack here, power button here, four, a couple of different four levels, rocks back and forth. It doesn't look like it goes... Uh, side to side, uh, like the other predecessor or whatever that other model is, the more beefier model goes like in fourths. This looks like it just goes straight up and back. But regardless, uh, I think this model still definitely sells. Unfortunately, no power cable. So we're going to have to look that up. This looks clean, which is really cool and nice. Uh, and your little straps here, etc. You can always unzip that, wash that. Oh, this was not a find. Mr. Sleep Slot gave me some uh, chickpea protein. Let's get that out of the way. Coming over here to our big marble tile. That, I don't believe, is actual marble, but that is tile and very large as well. That would be really beautiful for the back of your shower. I was thinking more of a cutting board, or I could break that up and do something with it. Again, it was just beautiful, and I was like, you know what? I mean, I'm right here. Why not? This is a premium grass porcelain tile made in USA. My guesstimation is even this tile alone is probably upwards of eight to ten dollars just for that tile. Probably more. Who knows? If you do know, comment in the description box. Uh, in the box. In the box below. <laughs> All right, coming up to here. So I thought this was only one. This looks like it's actually two. Uh, one. Looks like it was used, uh, or at least out of the wrapper, and then this one looks like it's brand new. I know, I know what you're saying. That's a blessing from the Lord. I literally just found two used ones without these things, and now I found two, one brand new and one other one that looks perfect condition. So we'll probably... Curb Alert, donate the other two. I mean, just wild. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings. Coming down here for the Stanley Mini Mug. Has the thing here, the topper here. That was found with the tile in the Dyson vacuum. We'll get to in just a second. Here's the power plug, uh, which is crazy beefy for that television there. Power plug VGA cable is in there. Ignore that. That's my eBay stash. I'm still trying to deal with it. <laughs> Coming over here to a Keurig, really, really strong looking Keurig right here. Uh, we'll test that out. That is uh, a nice one. It's not uh, the cream of the crop premium, but this is a very nice one. I think my parents actually have this in Colorado. It's actually a very nice Keurig. 
Uh, that will be a backup and I'll probably sell the parts on the other one I found that I told you that was gonna be a backup. This one I found and that's a beaut right there. I really enjoy that one right there. And then coming around to the Dyson DC41. Ladies and gentlemen, this thing is a newer model, a good looking model. Uh, newer than the other one has the brush up here. Definitely needs to be sanitized and clean. There's some hair wrapped up down there. Uh, but overall, isopropyl alcohol getting all the white paint off of here, just from storage, the scrapes from the walls, etc. here. Uh, but it has the, the wand attachments and everything like that. We'll give it a go, make sure everything is okay. I just actually noticed this look like a little tape right up here. So maybe the little clicky thing. Oh yeah, okay, I didn't even notice that. So the little red button clicky thing right here, unfortunately, uh, that snaps up in there has been um, has been broken, and so it looks like they temporarily taped that. I mean, no big deal. That's actually a really nice garage vacuum. Or I'll look it up and see if I can clean all this up, sell some parts, sell that, you know. But anyway, regardless, it's a blessing. I could even f maybe try to find a new little... Uh, push down piece for that, but uh, no harm, no foul there. They probably got a new one, and that's why they put this one out on the curb. Okay, my kitchen is totally, totally messy. We need to clean all of this up, put this in the eBay room. Thank you, Lord, again for all the blessings. Oh, and lastly, the Big Kong dog kennel. That is still at Mr. Sleep Slot's house. We will pick that up tomorrow. And just looked it up on eBay. I'm not finding this exact one, but it's actually a computer monitor with a TV tuner in it. So it doubles up. Computer monitor, TV tuner was top of the line back in the day. We'll just put it out on the curb. All right, guys, we're not sure if we hit the mother load or not. Jimmy and I are behind. Okay, a lot of these look like they're just display model fakes. Yeah, so some of these are display model fakes. Um, yeah, so that's a display model fake. But we have some like net gear boxes. Nothing's in there. Nothing's in there. We do have some slat wall hooks. And it looks like a spec case here, which it doesn't look like it's in it. So we're gonna we're gonna dig around a little bit and see if we can pull out some goodies, guys. Alright, hold on one moment. Yeah, it looks like they have recycled all their fake display stuff. Um, there is some nice slat wall hooks though. Um, so it looks like they have gotten rid of, yeah, probably remodeling. Um, yeah, that's a fake, that's a fake. Um, so yeah, yeah, this is all their display fake stuff. But if you needed slat walls or these hooks, this is good metal here. Um, you got other, a bunch of stuff, so. They're definitely remodeling their entire shop. Um, this is Office Depot. And so we're just going to kind of dig through this a little bit more. I think I have plenty of these already. Too bad that Nighthawk wasn't in there. Looking good though, guys. Looking really good. All right, guys. There's somebody right here. But I want to show you this IKEA coffee table and mattress. Uh, memory foam mattress right there.
Well, it was great seeing Jimmy. Jimmy was out with me on the hunt. We actually just got back from church, went to In-N-Out Burger. We had a good old time. He goes to a church that is 100% back in session now. Don't require mandatory masks. That was nice. Feel normal for a little bit. Now we are on the hunt. The church did start a little bit earlier. That's why I'm yawning. And I'm in a In-N-Out Burger coma. So we're gonna get some more diving in. Feeling really good. Carbohydrated up. Ready for some exercise tomorrow. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.